Dear students, today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is direct proportion. Let us take an example to understand the meaning of direct proportion. Cost of one book, say 10 rupees. Cost of two books will be 20 rupees. Cost of three books will be 30 rupees and cost of 4 books will be 40 rupees. Now you can see these numbers are increasing 1, 2, 3, 4 and this side also these numbers are increasing then 20, 30, 40. If both the numbers are increasing then it is a concept of direct proportion means the variables or indirect proportion variables means number of books if you write x the number of a cost say rupees write y then we call x is directly proportional to y or x and y are in direct variation and using symbol it is x is directly proportional to y so this is very important symbol in physics. Class 9 also you will get. Class 10 also you will get. So you have to understand the concept of direct proportion. The very simple concept. If x is increasing, y also should increase. x is decreasing, then y also should decrease. Means same thing. Increase then increase. Decrease then decrease. Then the variables are said to be in direct proportion. Now, quantity of food just take and its cost. Quantity of food say x, then cost say y. Quantity say 1 kg sugar is 45 rupees. Then 2 kg will be what? I think 90. This is also increasing, 1 becomes 2, 45 becomes 90. So since both the variables are increasing, so the x is directly proportional to y. All the variables x and y are in direct proportion. Now height of a tree and the number of years. Suppose height of a tree is 1 meter in one uh, number of years is 1 year. So, if it is 2 years, say height will be 2 meters. If it is 100 years, height will not be 100. Because after some time, the growth of the tree will come to an end. It will be fixed. It will not grow anymore. Because when you are baby, say one year, your height is one feet, two year, maybe two feet, but in 50 years, in this way, 50 years, your height all will not be 50 feet. Ne? So, this number is increasing. Of course, years, one year, two year, say 50 years, then this one will not increase anymore. First two may increase, then your height will be what? It will be fixed at 5 or 6 feet or 7 feet. So nobody will be up to 50 feet. So this number will be increasing. One year, two year, three years, four years, five years, six years, 50, 100. But these numbers First time it will increase, but after some time it will not increase anymore. So, in that case, the variables are not in direct proportion. Now, let us take this example. X is 5, yeah, values of X, 5, 8, 9, 11, and Y corresponding the values of Y are 15, 24, 27, and 30. Now 5 by 15. So how do you know that the variables are in direct proportion? You have to divide. 10 by 1 is what? 
10. 20 by 2 is what? That one also 10. 30 by 3 is what? That one also 10. 40 by 4 is what? That one also 10. So after division, if you get the same number, then you will understand that the variables are in direct variation. So here you can see 5 by 15 is 1 by 3, 8 by 24 is 1 by 3, 9 by 27 is 1 by 3, 11 by 33 also 1 by 3. Every time you get 1 by 3, you got 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. One by three. So these variables x and y are in direct variation or proportion. x is directly proportional to y. Now take this example, x takes the values 3, 5, 6, 9, then 5, y, corresponding values of y are 5, 3, 10 and 15. If you divide, then you will get what? First one is 3 by 5, 3 by 5, second one is 5 by 3. Then the remaining no need to divide. You can see these values. 3 by 5 and 5 by 3 are not equal. Is it equal? No. So, this, in this case, x is not directly proportional to y. That means, x and y are not in direct variation. Let us take again once more. Suppose when you, have, you were 1 year, your height was 1 feet. When you were 2 years, your height was 2. When you were uh, say 3 years, your height will be 2.5. It will not increase anymore like that, in the same order. Here, when you are 4 years, your height will be say 3. When you are 5 years, your height will be we feed one inch like that. So in this case, if you divide one by one is one, two by two is one, but two point five by three is not one. So every time you will not get the same value. So in that case, height and number of years are not in direct variation. And here you have seen. Whenever you divide 5 by 15, 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. This is a special number that is called constant. Constant of proportionality. Constant of proportionality. You remember this word is very very important. So here constant of proportionality is 1 by 3. In the first example, so here constant of proportionality 10 by 1 or every time you got 10, this 10 is called constant of proportionality. But you can divide 1 by 10 also. In that case, constant of proportionality will be 1 by 10. It is up to you. You can divide 1 by 10 or 10 by 1. If you divide 1 by 10, then 2 by 20, 3 by 30, 4 by 40. Or if you divide 10 by 1, then 10 by 1, 20 by 2, 30 by 3, 40 by 4. So, this is the first class on direct variation or proportion we will be discussing something more in my next video class thank you for watching